I recently got a parcel from my mother back in New Brunswick. Within the box, among some Christmas gifts, were also some random film cameras that she'd purchased for next to nothing while off sailing the yards of summer. I don't really have plans for making a video of these cameras at the moment, but if you would like to see something on them, let me know. There were five cameras total. As you can see, one is a little bit missing, so we'll come back to that. As for the others, just a bunch of average 80s and 90s 35mm film cameras. Some things that stand out to me would be the Vivitar with its zoom lens, which seems to work perfectly. And the Konica camera had a new roll of film loaded into it, so that's neat but the battery is dead and I don't have one, so I swapped the film into the most basic camera. This Kodak Star Focus Free, because I guess that was a feature? I've already shot this roll as of writing this video, so stay tuned if you'd like to see that video too. That just leaves my favorite of the bunch, this old Kodak K60. I love the way it looks with that retro monochromatic boxy design. I would like to shoot a roll in it soon, however there were some batteries left in it and they looked as if they've been left in it since the 90s as well. So I've got some work to do on that one. But what happened to camera 5? I happened. The camera was a Kodak Ektralite 10, a 110 film cartridge camera that I knew I wouldn't ever get to use thanks to the less popular 110 film cartridge, which I can't even get developed near me. Instead of leaving the whole camera unused, I took the lens and used it to make a DIY lens cap lens to mount to a Sony E-mount body. I'm not the first to do this, so I'm not really going to make a tutorial. But basically, I drilled a hole in a lens cap in which I hot glued the lens into. I swear, it's perfectly centered, mostly, and I'm a professional. It actually took a bit of fiddling to get the lens just right for the focusing. Being a fixed focus lens, the focus is fixed, from about 4 feet to infinity. All in all, this took less than an hour to finish. Since 110 film is about the same size as a 4 thirds sensor, the lens doesn't quite cover the whole sensor when mounted on an APS-C camera, and you're left with some heavy vignetting. I did my best to center the lens in the cap, but the vignetting stayed no matter what I did. This would only be worse on a full frame camera. I do think I could do a little better with the flange distance when gluing it together though. The images I took all have focused just a little bit too close. Moving the lens closer to the sensor will fix this. The Ectralite 10 lens is quite wide, with a 25mm focal length, along with a less than average aperture of f8. When getting the first images off the camera, I was quite surprised with the colors. I don't know what I'm surprised about though. I didn't really know what I was expecting one way or another. Of course, it's going to have more vintage look to it. It is a vintage lens torn off an 80s camera after all. Not accounting for my lack of precision when it comes to the focus, the image is rather soft, especially around the edges where there is even some smearing in the far corners. The center of the image isn't too bad overall which makes sense if it were on a smaller sensor, but some ghostly flares can be seen as you get closer to the edges before the vignetting takes over. If you were to push the lens further away from the sensor when gluing it together, you can turn it into a macro lens. You can also achieve this by using extension tubes behind the lens cap. I honestly think this might work better than using it normally. While the image quality isn't really there, this was a fun and simple little project that took barely any time. The images are far from being the sharpest, 
but that isn't really what this is about. Using this lens can get you an aged or retro kind of look if that's what you're going for. Adding some green or even shooting at a noisier ISO level can add to that effect too. Making a vintage lens lens cap lens for a modern camera is a good way to get some of those period correct kind of pictures that I like taking with older digital cameras. Just without the hassle of older digital cameras. I personally won't be using this lens all the time, but I would still recommend trying this to just about anyone. In fact, once I can get more old cameras that either don't work or just don't have a use for, I'd like to make even more lens cap lenses. I'm already planning on making a disposable camera lens cap lens. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried something like this before already. For now, that's going to be it on lens cap lenses. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.